Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day. Singing on that virtual bus was fun, wasn't it, Sunny? Oh, hello, everybody. My name's Sun Smart Susie, and this here is my good friend, Sunny the Bear. Say hello, everybody. <laughs> Well, we've just come down here today to Isabella Williams Reserve in Deer Park and what an amazing park it is. Sunny, can you see the volcano in the playground over there? Wow, how good is that? Well, it's the perfect day to come out and about today because it is a beautiful sunny day. But on sunny days, we need to remember to be sun smart, don't we, Sunny? So what does it mean to be sun smart, everybody? Well, it means to do everything that you can to protect your skin and your eyes and your head from the sun. So there are a few ways that we can do this. I'll pop my beach bag down here and we might set you down here as well, Sunny. So things to remember, everybody, is the five S's. What are the five S's I hear you say? They are slip, slop, slap, Seek and slide, that's right. So let's have a look inside the bag here. The first S is slip, and that means to slip on a shirt. Now I already have my shirt on today, so I am protected from the sun. You want a shirt with a sleeve or a long sleeve and to cover you up so you are all protected. The next S is slop. And what we mean by that is to Slop on some sunscreen, that's right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some sunscreen all over the parts of my body that are showing to the sun. So my arms are definitely need to put some on. So let's put all over here, a little bit more. We wanna make sure every part is covered. You don't wanna leave any gaps all around there. Put some on the other arm as well, here. And the top of my arm, shoulders. Also, don't forget to pop it on your face as well. So sunscreen on my cheeks and my chin and my nose and here. And also my neck, don't forget my neck, the back of your neck. There we go, maybe a little bit on my toes because they're showing to the sun, a bit there. Excellent. Now. Slip, check, slop, check, slap. We need to slap on a hat, just like my hat here today. Now you'll notice that my hat has a really big wide brim and that is the sort of hat that you want to wear because it protects your entire face as well as the back of your neck as well. So we have slip, slop, slap, seek. And that means to seek or to find some shade because shade will protect us from the sun. And I have found a beautiful shady tree here today at Isabella Williams Reserve. So that's another check. And lastly, slide. What does that mean? Does it mean go down the slide? I don't think that's going to protect me from the sun. Hmm, slide on some sunnies. That's right. So I have, Ah, my favourite blue sunnies here today. Do you have a favourite pair of sunglasses? Perhaps you do. There we go. I think I'm all protected now from the sun. But do you know what? Our good friend Sunny the Bear, I don't think he's protected, is he? No. So Sunny, I think we need to go through the checklist for you as well with the five S's. So what is the first S? Do you remember everybody? That's right, slip. So we need to slip on a shirt for Sunny. Let's see if I have packed one today. Yes, I have. I have remembered. And I have a matching shirt to me. Do you like this, Sunny? Oh, yes. So let's place the shirt over the top of Sunny's head to make sure that he is all protected from the sun. Okay, oh, over your head there, Sunny. And we need to pop your arms through. There we go. It's one arm through. And there is another arm through. 
Let's hold you up and see how good you look. Yes. Oh, what do you think, everybody? Very, very good. Very smart. <laughs> okay, so slip, check, slop. Do you remember what slop means? It means to slop on sunscreen. So we will take our 50 plus sunscreen here and remember that you can't go in the water for about 20 to 30 minutes after you apply the sunscreen because you don't want the sunscreen to all wash off all of the hard work of putting it all over your body. So here we are, Sunny, I'm going to pop some all over you there. There we go, on your little paws. <laughs> A little bit more in my hand. Pop some on this paw. And we have to remember Sunny's face, don't we? Close your eyes. There we go. On your little teddy nose. We can't forget. All under the neck there. The back of the neck. And the legs as well. The other leg. And don't forget your toes. If you're wearing thongs or you're, you've got no shoes on, you want to make sure your feet are covered as well. Okay, so we have slipped on a shirt. We have slopped on sunscreen. We need to slap on a hat. That's right. I do have a hat here today for Sunny. But where do you put your hat? Hmm. Do you put your hat on your elbow? No. Do you put your hat on your knee? On your knee? Your hat on your knee? No, no. Do you put your hat on your shoulder? On your shoulder? Your hat on your shoulder? No. You put your hat on. You put your hat on. You put your hat on your head. You put your hat on. You put your hat on. You put your hat on your head. That's right. So we'll pop Sonny's hat on his head just like this. Oh. You are looking very smart there, Sunny. So let's go through the checklist again. Slip on the shirt, slop on the sunscreen, slap on the hat, seek. We have already uh, found some shade here today, so that's a check. Slide, that is the last one we need to do. And I do have some sunglasses here for our good friend, Sunny. Wow, look at these everybody. Aren't these pretty cool? Do you like these? Oh yeah. So let's pop these, pop your hat off for a second and pop these on to Sunny. Ho oh, ho! Now Sunny, you are all protected from the sun. Doesn't he look good everybody? <laughs> I think you do look pretty cool. I'll pop you down there now. Well done. Do you know what? The sun isn't such a bad thing at all. Like it, sometimes you do need to, of course, protect yourself from the sun, but it's not all bad. Actually, a little bit of sun every now and then is actually quite good for you because it contains what's called vitamin D. And vitamin D is really good for our bones and our, our health. So a little bit of sun every day is good. Just as long as you are all covered up, you are good to go. And in fact, I think we might stand up, if you can all stand up at home, and we're going to sing a song all together. And this song is called Mr. Sun. Are you ready to sing along with me? Okay, let's sing, hit the music. Please shine down on 
Oh, well done, everybody. Very good, very good. Well, we have a few more things in the beach bag that I think we should get out today. What do you think there, Sunny? You look like you're snoozing over there. It's such a beautiful day today, everybody, that it's easy to fall asleep, isn't it, in the sun? Oh, we cannot forget the beach towel. We better get that out. Pop that there. And we'll might lay that down over here because when you're out and about at the beach or the park, you want to be nice and comfortable. And if you are going in the water at the beach, you need something to dry yourself off with, don't you? So I'm going to just lay that out just like that. How about that, Sunny? You might be more comfortable on the towel just like so. If you're not going to nod off again on us. <laughs> now, let's see what else we have inside the beach bag today. Yes, of course you need things to protect yourself, but you also need things to have fun down at the beach or the park, don't you? So today I've packed a bucket and spade. So you can take that down and dig and make sand castles or dig around in the dirt as well. So we might pop that next to you as well, Sunny. Oh, this is looking very, very good. We're all very comfortable down here at Isabella Williams Reserve in Deer Park. So hopefully you can get down here one day yourself soon. Now, while we're down here, what else could we do? Hmm, oh, I know, I've got a great idea. Why don't we all do a craft together? Would you like to do a craft at home with us as well? Okay, well, we are going to make one of these. It's a paper plate sun. Do you like the look of this? What about you, Sunny? Yeah. So if you would like to make one of these at home, all you'll need is a paper plate. You start with a white paper plate like this. And what you'll then need to do, which I've already done today, is to take your yellow texture or yellow paint if you do have paint at home. And I'll show you here. Take your yellow texture and you're going to colour in the plate all through the plate here. Try to get to all of the edges if you can. You might need a little bit of help from somebody, but colour it all in a nice bright yellow there. Once you have done that, then it is time to create your rays of sunshine. This is where you'll definitely need some help from an adult. So what you'll then do is using scissors, of course, scissors are very sharp, so you must be very, very careful. Take the scissors and what we're going to do is we're going to cut out some triangle shapes. I'll show you what I mean. I'll do them today so you can see. So we'll start by cutting out our first triangle shape, just like so, so you can see. And once you pull it out, it's going to look like this pop that down. Then what we will do is we'll move about a little about there, about two centimetres, and we will cut out the next triangle shape. And I'll show you what happens. Okay. Oh, and as you can see, we have created another ray of sunshine there. So we keep going all around. I'll show you today so you can see. And this one. And here we go again. So as I said, make sure you ask an adult to help you with this part because scissors are very sharp and we don't want to hurt your fingers today. Oh, we're getting there. Next one, lots of different triangle shapes. Can we count how many triangles we have so far? One, two, three, four, five and six, I believe there. So let's keep going. A couple more to go. Oh, it's looking good. And we'll go for one more, I think. Excellent. And then we'll pop those scissors back away and you will end up with a shape that looks just like this. So, you can even do something with the little triangles if you like. You can make something with those. We'll pop them aside. Don't throw them away. You can recycle. So pop those in the basket. Okay, now let's have a look at the finished sun. What are we missing? What does the sun need? Well, let's have a look. 
The sun is being very sun smart and wearing his sunnies today. So what you'll do is you'll take a black texture and we will draw some sunnies on our sun. They don't have to look exactly like mine. You can do however you like. So we'll draw, let's have a look at these ones. We will draw some sunnies. I'll show you the best I can. Might be a little bit different from the other ones. <laughs> but let's try. So good idea to get the shape. You can even use a grey lead pencil. So you don't, if you do make mistakes, you can then uh, use an eraser to get rid of those mistakes, but it doesn't matter. And you're going to color in your sunnies just like so. I'll we'll just do it a little bit roughly today because we may not have time to color it all in perfectly. There we go, color that side, all down here. Or you might like to do different colors. You might like to do some different designs on your sunnies. Okay, that's pretty good to show you today. There we go, <laughs> some sunnies on our sun. Now, what else do we have on this? We have some little eyebrows. So let's draw eyebrow on the top, another eyebrow on the top. And we're missing a mouth, aren't we? So we'll do a little mouth to the side. He's a pretty cool looking son, isn't he? <laughs> I might even draw a little tongue sticking out the side. He's a cheeky son. Here we go. Now we need to color the little tongue in red. So if you've got a red texture, let's go back into here and have a look. Yes, we do have a red texture just like this. And we'll color in the little tongue in red as well. Oh, it's looking so good. Oh, look at this. What do you think, Sunny? Oh, Sunny approves. Now we have a little friend for our other little son here. So you might like to make all different types. You might like to make some small ones or some bigger ones, but that is a great little craft activity that you can do at home with some special people in your family if you like. And you could even give it to somebody special as well. Well, do you know what? I'm really, I've had so much fun here at the park today, Sunny. I don't know about you, but I think it is getting to that time where we will need to catch the virtual bus. So you might all like to catch the bus with us as well. We might start packing up all of our bits and pieces. So we'll put these away. We'll get our beach bag and pop our things in, our spade, our bucket. I think you can leave all of your things on today, Sunny, because we will still be out for, in the sun for a little bit longer today. Our sunscreen. Remember, you need to keep reapplying your sunscreen because it does start to lose its protection after a little while as well. So keep on top of that. I will also pack up the towel here today. Oh, it's been so much fun. Now, always remember, the children have the right to feel safe and to choose their own friends. So I want you to take very, very special care of your teddies and your special friends and family. And I really hope that you enjoy the rest of Children's Week because there are so many activities going on right throughout the week and uh, I really hope you enjoy. So let's put that away. Oh, I can hear that virtual bus. It is coming around the corner here. It has been so much fun at Isabella Williams Reserve in Deer Park today. I'm going to take Sunny. Oh, can you say goodbye to everybody, Sunny? <laughs> I'll take my craft to finish off at home and I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Enjoy the rest of Children's Week. We'll see you next time. Bye. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all 